Welcome to day one of our live coverage of IDEX, the largest defense exhibition and conference in the Middle East. Held biannually in Abu Dhabi, the UAE, this year's edition of IDEX kicked off with the participation of about 1,350 companies from 65 countries worldwide. More than 130,000 visitors are expected to attend the five-day event that concludes on February 24. In this video, we're bringing you exclusive footage from the venue on opening day, along with a first look at some of the platforms and solutions presented by the UAE and Saudi Arabia. The defense industry in the UAE has undergone a significant transformation in recent years that has resulted in improvements in product quality, operational efficiency, and technological innovation. This comes as the UAE forges ahead with its Operation 300 billion strategy, which aims to develop the country's industrial sector and enhance its role in stimulating the national economy. As a result, the UAE has become a regional leader and an innovation hub that attracts investors to the national defense sector to benefit from robust competitive advantages. In line with the UAE's expanding defense manufacturing sector, Edge Group, the country's defense conglomeration, revealed 11 new unmanned and autonomous products and systems during the opening day of IDEX 2023. These products and systems range from tactical intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, to logistics support and sophisticated combat operations. The Made in UAE portfolio of products can be used across air, land and maritime combat environments. Within Edge's new aerial portfolio is Junia, an unmanned combat aerial vehicle with an extended range and capable of operating at high speeds providing a high-tech and autonomous means of carrying out different military operations. Displayed alongside the UCAV is its ground control station, which is designed to monitor and command the system. Another addition is the air truck. The air truck has been specifically designed to provide strategic logistics support, including supplying troops in remote locations, medical evacuation, and reconnaissance. Its high payload capacity of 500 kilograms maximum range of 360 km, and cruising speed of 120 km per hour make it an ideal option for such operations. A new addition to the QX range was also revealed. The QX650 has been specifically designed for logistics purposes in both military and civilian applications. The rotary wing UAV is capable of carrying a payload of up to 50 kg for a distance of up to 200 km. It can operate autonomously and can be easily maintained due to its high modularity with other existing QX variants. Edge also revealed three of their unmanned ground vehicles, following the acquisition of a majority stake in the Estonia-based company, Milram Robotics. These UGVs were developed to address different mission requirements. The Themis Combat UGV provides direct fire support for maneuvering units and acts as a force multiplier, while the Themis Observe is designed for tactical reconnaissance missions with various sensors for day and night operations. The UGVs are complemented by the Milram Intelligent Functions Kit, which provides autonomous capabilities and a command and control system that is specifically designed for robotic systems, integrating multiple dissimilar unmanned aerial and ground assets. An 8x8 robotic combat vehicle concept, the Nimrar CV, that is built for tactical mobility, high performance, maneuverability, and speed, was also presented. This modular platform has been designed to lower lethality risks by increasing standoff distance from enemy units, demonstrating Edge's commitment to advancing in-house capabilities. In terms of maritime products, Edge unveiled a new unmanned surface vehicle, the 170 Detector USV is a versatile vessel designed for maritime ISR missions and underwater mine detection. It can be used for manned or unmanned operations, has a length of 17 meters, and can operate for up to 4 hours in electric mode or reach speeds of 40 knots in diesel mode. Similarly to the UAE, Saudi Arabia has also moved to diversify their defense partners and develop their own defense industries in recent years. Their participation at IDEX 2023 was marked by a strong presence from the country's defense industry. One of the key participants at the event is the Saudi Arabian Military Industries, or SAMI. SAMI showcased their defense products and technologies, including drones, missiles, and various land and naval systems. 
SAMI has also highlighted its strategic partnerships with global defense companies, including Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon, which have helped the company to develop these advanced military technologies. Another key Saudi Arabian participant at IDEX 2023 is the Saudi Ministry of Interior, which showcased their latest developments in the security sector. The Ministry of Interior has been investing heavily in cybersecurity and smart city technologies, which are becoming increasingly important for national security. The ministry's participation in the event underscores the importance that Saudi Arabia places on maintaining security within its borders and highlights the country's efforts to adopt advanced security technologies to achieve this. That is it for day one at IDEX 2023. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as we continue our live coverage of IDEX 2023.